Hi, this is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to go over the steps on how to install Windows onto your Mac. This guide is going to go over how to install the Windows 10 evaluation version onto your Mac computer. We'll be using an app called Bootcamp Assistant that's on the latest uh, Mac OS or a few earlier versions. So to ensure that you do have this software installed, just go into your spotlight on the top right and type in Bootcamp. All right, and there we go. It's already shown up, Bootcamp Assistant. So we'll open that up. If you don't have this application on your Mac, you can go and download it for free from the Apple website. So we're assuming that you've already got Bootcamp installed and you've got a fairly new new Mac as well and that you've got a either a Windows installer uh, disk via like a DVD or a CD or you've got a Windows ISO. This demonstration is going to go through how to install Windows with the ISO version, all right, which I've downloaded from the Microsoft uh, MSDN website, which may not mean much to you, but I've got an ISO. Either way, continue. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to create a Windows 7 or later version install this. Now, because I'm using an ISO, this is why I have to do this. Okay. If you've already got a, um, a, a CD, for example, then you don't have to do this. So you can just untick that and then just go and install Windows 7 or later version. Now, uh, regardless of the version of Windows, even if like this is for Windows 7, we're not going to be using Windows 7, obviously. Um, but the process is the same for you know another version of Windows uh, either way. So we're going to click on this. Now also the second option here is to download the latest Windows software from Apple. So what this will do is uh, when, you, when you have your Windows installed, you'll have to install the drivers for all of your Mac hardware. Otherwise your Mac hardware isn't going to work correctly. So ensure that that is ticked as well and then we're good to go. So regardless of the option, if you have this unticked, just click on next, uh, continue, and then it'll follow the next prompt. In my case, I'm going to click on this because I want to create an ISO, uh, like a disk from my ISO. So I'll select continue. It's going to ask me to select my ISO where I'm going to select it from, and then select a drive where I want to put that ISO. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Say continue to all the data being erased and then let it do its thing. So this will let you install it without the CD. But again, as I said, if you do have the original CD DVD, you can skip this, this step and just go straight into the install that we saw on the, on the part just before. The next step is to partition the hard drive. So what we do on this part is you've got your Mac partition and then you're going to give a part of that hard drive to Windows. Okay, so we're going to give it, let's say, uh, well, it's up to you. You'd have to determine how big, uh, how much storage you want, how big you want the hard drive to be. So let's just say, just for this demonstration, we'll just do 40 gigabytes. Okay. So after that has finished, your computer will start automatically and will boot into the Windows login screen. Uh, so if you're seeing this screen, it means that it's automatically restarted your computer and you're into the Windows installation area. So we're just going to follow the defaults here. We're not going to really do anything special. Leave the language, the time is all the default. Click on next. So we're going to select the Windows Technical Preview for Enterprise. Uh, so this is the 64-bit version of Windows 10. And we click on Next. Uh, you got your license terms and agreement. So accept that. Next. Then here you've got your partition. So what you want to do is you want to find the one that says Boot Camp. Yeah? So Bootcamp is the one that was formatted automatically by your Mac. So this is the one that you want to install it on. So we want to select Bootcamp, click on Format, and OK. So that is going to format that partition. And we should now be able to click on Next. 
So the install will now start. It's going to copy all your Windows files and go through everything else in terms of installing your Windows 10 preview. So we'll check back once this is finished. So Windows should now be installed. You've just got a bunch of settings which you just configure how you want to. Once that setup's finished, you'll get to a welcome the uh, welcome to the bootcamp installer page pop up. This is going to install a whole bunch of drivers. Now you will remember that we did copy data to a USB stick as well. Uh, this is just a precautional thing. So if this doesn't pop up for whatever reason, you've got that USB stick with the software to install it manually if you need to. So this is going to install all of the drivers that you need for your Windows to run uh, all of your Mac hardware. So we'll let that run through. Finish. It's going to ask you to restart, so let's restart that computer. So your computer will now restart and you're going to be in your Windows 10 uh, preview edition. So you've noticed that by default, Windows will be the operating system that starts up automatically when you start your computer. Uh, you can alter between one or the other when you start it up by holding down the option key on your keyboard, and then you will be able to select either the Mac OS or the Windows to get into it. Uh, you can change the default um, operating system that you want to open, and to do that, you go into, uh, into your control panel. So we'll just look for control panel, Okay, and then you'll have an option here, Boot Camp, right, under Control Panel. On your Mac OS, you'll also have a Boot Camp icon now under your System Preferences. It's going to look the same, and it'll have the same options. And if we open that up, you'll now see it says select the system you want to use to start up your computer, and you select which one you want to start up. So, by default, I'm going to be using my Mac more than I'll be using Windows, so I'm going to select Mac OS and OK, and that's it. So now automatically Mac OS will start when I restart my computer. And that is the entire process. So that is the full installation of Windows 10 Preview using Boot Camp on your Mac. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you can visit my website at www.digitalbytecomputing.com. Thanks for watching.